Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to adjust audio levels in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, what we're going to be doing is adjusting the audio track. So, first off, we need to import some footage. Mine does not have any audio on it, so I went ahead and downloaded two other additional pieces of audio. I got all this from Envato Elements, which is a great subscription-based stock footage website. Pay a monthly price and download as much stock footage as you want. Really, really awesome place. Check out the link in the description below if that sounds interesting. So the first easiest way to do this is to click on the audio and then click G. What this is gonna bring up is the audio gain tab. This allows you to adjust the audio up or adjust the audio down. Now, this is a incremental change. So if I go up to six point, or let's say 5.3 on this one, and then I click G again, we're gonna start at zero again, but the gain of the overall clip is gonna be set to 5.3 right here. If you'd like to set the overall clip, you just click that one and do it. Adjust just always goes back to zero so that you know, am I giving it more volume or am I taking some volume away in this particular instance? The peak amplitude tells you how close to clipping you are. So that means that I can bring this number up here right up to 8.7 and it's gonna fill out everything without going past and clipping the audio. Now that's just a soft limit. I could go up to 57. You'll see though that we get a wall of sound here. So we definitely do not want that. So if I bring it to 8.7 though, we will have basically the full audio here. Now, this is very quick, easy way to do it. Um, it's clip based so you can Go, for example, if you cut them down, you can bring this one down. And then if I make another cut here, I can bring this one even higher. And you can see that it goes up, down like that. The next way that we can adjust audio is that we can actually adjust it through the audio clip mixer. So what the audio clip mixer does is it allows us to adjust it while we're playing the audio. So for example, we can play it. I can raise this up or down. And what you'll notice is as I'm going up and down, it's also making the sound go up and down. But if you notice right here, when I switch from clip to clip, watch this little thing over here on the left, the slider, you'll see that it goes up and it goes down. This is a clip by clip basis. So as I'm listening, I can actually keep adjusting things. Uh, I can keep mixing the tracks together. And every time it switches clips, it'll make sure that those sounds are saved into the clip. So that's a very important thing. Now, here's a little sort of gotcha here. These are not associated with these. What I mean by that is if I click the G on this tab, this gain is gonna be exactly as I left it, even if I raise this up or lower it down. Think of it like this. All of the effects that we do here are stuck right here. Once we are done with these effects, they then get piped through the audio clip mixer. So this is the last step. This is above everything else. If I zero this out, it does not matter how high I make the gain here, the audio will be muted at this point. It's the final sort of finishing step. So that's just something to know is that all of these can be mismatched um, around. But that is a good way to adjust your audio levels. Lastly, I wanted to show you the audio track mixer. So the one thing with this was if we wanted, if we had like a thousand little clips here, and we wanted to adjust all of the audio, that entire track is just too loud. Well, we would have to drag every one of these down or click on each one of them, click G, bring it down. It's a lot of work. You can go to the audio track mixer and do just that. So now all of the sound comes through, but if I drop audio one to mute, you'll notice all we have is the wind sound now, this bottom one. Every one of these clips is affected by this. So this is sort of your master layer at the end. And this one is piped after the audio clip mixer. So this is your final, final mix. Um, if you drop this one out to zero, even if your audio clip mixer is all the way up to top, doesn't matter, still gonna be silent. So it goes from timeline to audio clip mixer to audio track mixer, and then that is your final audio level. So you got a lot of tools here, and they're all very important, but remember the quickest way is just click on here and click G, and that will get you to your audio gain settings. Then you can do all, all this stuff over here. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and thumb in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you would like to learn Premiere Pro from scratch with tutorials just like this, very simple, iterative sort of tutorials, check out the link in the description below for a course that I created. Thanks everyone, and until next time, see ya.